he would poop in people's trailers. And he would leave it, he wouldn't flush the toilet. Ew. Uh, it, it happened to me, I think I was a limb, and he did, he did it to everybody. Hey guys, welcome back to Clever. Today I'm here with the one, the only, Emma Kenny. Hi, hello. You might recognize her from Shameless, which personally is one of my favorite shows. <laughs> but most recently, she's taking on a new role in the reboot of Roseanne. And guess who I'm playing? Darlene's daughter, obviously, hence my face. <laughs> but that's so exciting. Um, <laughs> yes. What was the audition process like? Because that's like something I'm sure a ton of people were dying to be in. Yeah, it actually was. I got called in towards the very end of the auditioning process. They hadn't found the right girl and then, they called me in and I went to go meet with Sarah Gilbert at Disney Studios, mm -hmm. which is where we just had our premiere, which was like a full, beautiful wraparound and it was very wholesome and just like sweet. But I read with Sarah and we were just looking at each other like mirror, you know what like, I mean? It's perfect. And it, and it clicked and it connected and it was a two day audition process. I found out I booked it on my 18th birthday. Oh, that's so exciting. Which was literally the best 18th birthday gift. I would imagine. Or birthday gift I could have ever received. So it aired last night. Yes. Very exciting. I know. Can you tell us a little about, about the first episode. What was it like to go to the table read and then like actually have it come to life? And uh, It was so surreal because I'd been binge watching Roseanne. Mm -hmm. You know, when I started the audition process and I started guess, to wait, book so it. So follow up question. Yeah. Roseanne ended before you were even born. It ended in 97, and I was born in 1999. So it's kind of funny because my character, Harris, was actually, they showed her birth scene in okay. 1997 on television, which is pre my life. But and then there was just like a pause. Until yeah, this is a little pause, like <laughs> yeah. a 30 year break, literally. The first table read was so surreal. I sat right next to Lori Metcalf. That was where it was placed. Every table read, and I, I'm still shook about that. But also, you're on another show, Shameless. Yeah that has a bunch of really iconic actors on it True. too. So I feel like you're kind of, would be used to being in that kind of scenario. Is it different? I mean, no, it's not different. I just have known everybody on Shameless for like 10 years, Sorry, so they're literally my family. But yeah, everybody on Roseanne, like we've gotten so close, but I still am like at that stage where I'm like, you are just, just admiring them. Yeah. Put them up close. I know. <laughs> I like, would say afar, but you're literally interacting. I know. <laughs> it's really cool. I, I learned so much just working with them on set, like comedic timing. Roseanne always gives me tips on how to say a line that'd be funny or Sarah will suggest things. Like there's just, it's a very improv-y set. It's a very free, it's a very collaborative set. Very fun. Is, is that great. different than Shameless? I wouldn't say it's completely different from Shameless because we have a lot of improv scenes, breakfast scenes in the mm -hmm. morning, we're always improving and just kind of doing our own thing. And Roseanne, it's like actual script dialogue. The cast and the crew will talk about changing. Oh, that's what's fun. funnier. So, so it's, it's literally fun. like someone has already yes. written and you're like, oh, we'll just change it. It's very collaborative and the writers are great about it. They're like, oh yeah, that is really funny. Let's do it. Oh, awesome. Tell us a little bit about your character. So I play Harris, which is Darlene and David's offspring slash Darlene's karma oh. and Hellspring. <laughs> But I am kind of, Harris is a mix of Darlene, she's got her dry wit and her her comedic, kind of dark, her, her dark comedy. But she's also got a bit of Roseanne's kind of wild, savage nature, which is fun. Do you feel like a lot of your fans now have watched the show before? Or do you think you're gonna be introducing it to like a whole new generation of kids? There's been a bit of both. Like I've noticed on social media, it's like, a, you know, I've been posting a lot about it because mm. I'm so excited. And like a lot of like the younger people who have just kind of watched Shameless on Netflix and stuff, they're like, oh great, I'm gonna watch this on ABC. Like, like oh, there's a new show starting. Yeah, like they're <laughs> like, oh cool, like I'll see somebody from, you know, one of my favorite shows on yeah. a new show. But the OG fans have been really accepting of me and like, it's cool. Like I, we, I was at South by Southwest a few weeks ago promoting the show, and literally a couple of the people were like, "Oh my God! Like Sarah, you haven't aged a bit." And I was like, "I'm Emma. Like I play her daughter." <laughs> like close, but and they were like, "Oh my God, that's so cool." That's so exciting, though. Yeah. Is it like hard to stay in the right character? Um, no. I know Debbie like the back of my hand. I've grown up with her. <laughs> yeah, but, but like, Harris, like, like Debbie like likes to curse a little more. Maybe yeah, you're true. not allowed to do that. I, I oh. <laughs> Do you want to know something funny? On the first day, or literally the first day, no exaggeration, I like added some improv line on a rehearsal and I like just was like like I just like said some like bad like, word and that. then everybody at ABC looked at me they were like, <gasps> <laughs> like, they were like oh not showtime Got yeah it. I okay. literally uh, said that I was like sorry like <laughs> my bad like not on showtime this is ABC <laughs> that's amazing okay are you ready for a game yes always never have I ever returned something to a store after wearing it I was like if you say no then you're Darn. fine <laughs> everyone has yes. okay faked an injury to get out of something <laughs> school bot. Like when I was in school, I would always be like, oh, I'm, I'm flu, I have the flu, I'm so Oh, but sick. no, like, oh, I broke my arm, and then you like didn't. No, like, I just would try to get out of school when I was okay. young, like third grade vibe. My mom would never believe it. She'd be like, Emma, you need to go to school. Like, never have I ever gotten into trouble with a shameless co-star. Gotten into trouble with a so, shameless like, co-star? Trouble can be up to interpretation, but. No, we're all super close. Okay. 
We're always messing around though and like causing mischief on set as a joke though, but never actual trouble. Are, are there like pranks going on? Oh, yes. Give us the best one. Steve Howie, he used to do this thing, like he would poop in people's trailers. And he would leave it, he wouldn't flush the toilet. Ew. I, it, it happened to me, I think I was in my he did it to everybody. And it was so disgusting and funny. Okay, never have I ever crushed on or dated a friend's sibling. No, 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 not me, but it's the opposite because my on-screen brother, Ethan, who's like oh. my real brother, is dating my real life best friend. Okay. So it's the opposite, so I don't put a finger down. No, finger down. you get to keep the finger. Um, never have I ever stalked a crush and ended up over a year deep into his feet. Like, not gonna lie. Same. Facts, and I've liked <laughs> photos by act, fact. Okay, um, never have I ever nerded out while meeting a famous actor or actress that I love. Fact. Name like one that was your my Ultimate. first fangirl experience, I don't know why, this is very weird. Growing up, I was obsessed with the George Lopez show. I was obsessed with it, and then I, I, Emmy, I told Emmy this. She was like, um, oh, like I was just on a show, Like, let's go meet him, and they were filming his show Lopez tonight at Warner Brothers, just like we were filming at Shameless. Mm -hmm. Just casually brought you over to me. Yeah, so we, and then he let, so she brought me, Ethan, and one of the other co-stars over, and I got to meet him and I literally was crying in the golf cart over. <laughs> and then George taught me how to drive his golf cart. I was like 12 and it was like a tricked out one. It was I forget dope. that you started the show so early. I know, too, so and I still know child. George and he's the coolest guy. And you can call him George. Yeah. He's someone that I feel like you have to call it George Lopez unless you know him. Yeah, he's George. I love him. <laughs> <laughs> Never have I ever had a crush on a fictional character. Of course. So many, so many different, ooh, honestly, Right now, I've been binge watching House, uh -huh. and I have a huge crush on Dr. House. Okay. It's kind of weird. I don't. I, <laughs> You're like I don't know how to explain it, I but just, it's happening. It's just true. <laughs> Do you, we have an ongoing discussion at work about um, what cartoon character you were weirdly attracted to as a child, uh, and it can be an animal. Okay, I know exactly. <laughs> um, See, most no, people no, 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 no. This Everybody question. has this. Yeah. Um, Danny Phantom <laughs> and Shark Boy. Taylor Lautner, the I'll give you Taylor that. Lautner. Okay, yes. Uh, we're thinking more cartoons. Oh my god, and George Lopez was in that movie. I totally <laughs> forgot George. Okay, well, I kind of set you up for failure with that game, but thank you for playing. Of course, I <laughs> And thank you for coming in. Thank you. All of you need to check out Roseanne. It's on every Tuesday at 8 on ABC. Yay! Bye. For even more clever, click to the left to see the six best TV show revivals of 2018, or click to the right to see 10 stars who refuse to do TV show reboots.